Resilience. Oh, what a word. Resilience is a psychological quality that allows some people to be knocked down by the adversities of life and come back at least as strong as before. Rather than letting difficulties, traumatic events, or failure overcome them and drain their resolve. Highly resilient people find a way to change course, emotionally heal, and continue moving towards their goals. We're talking about resilience today, everybody. We're talking about building up that confidence on the phone. All right. This is really, really, really interesting because um, real, real quick, let's go right back down. I just want to touch on this highlighted part here, Matt. Right here, psychologists have identified some of the factors that appear to make a person more resilient, such as a positive attitude, optimism, the ability to regulate emotions, and the ability, ability to see failure as a form of helpful feedback. Guys, this is not uh, hyperbole. This is not just making it up. This isn't theory. This is science. This is absolute science. But did you catch those two words in there? Those really, really, really important words when it comes to being on the phone? Regulate emotions. Do you know what happens when you get rejected? Because this is the hardest part, right? When we're getting on the phone, in our brain, we are wired to be part of a tribe. We don't want to be ostracized. We don't want to be pushed away. We don't want to be seen as something that is like an outsider or an outcast, right? That's what's going on in our brain. That's what's going on in this beautiful little teeny almond shaped part of our brain called the amygdala. All right, let's pop up that amygdala, Matt, so that everybody sees what's going on here. This amygdala here, that's, what's in, that's what controls your uh, fight and flight and freeze responses. All right, once these emotions come in, once somebody is negative towards you, especially when you're calling up and you're having a conversation with a stranger and they're being short with you, they're being angry with you, they yell at you, they do all these things that we're so afraid of, our amygdala just fires. It goes absolutely bananas, right? It really does. But what happens is, we, what, what happens with people that are very confident on the phone is they let their frontal lobes go to action. The frontal lobes, this is all science. I want to break this down scientifically so it's not just, oh, just go out there, push through, hustle, do all these things. This is what's going on inside of all of our brains. When we get on the phone and somebody's mean to us or somebody's angry to us or when we don't feel like we have the right uh, words to say or we don't know how to come back or we're, we're, we're feeling kind of on our back foot, right? This amygdala is telling us fight, flight, freeze, like it's trying to stop us. But with reps, with experience, with allowing our frontal lobes to take over, check this out right here, you can stop this amygdala hijack that's what it is your amygdala is getting hijacked once somebody rejects you and scientists tell you that it's the same feeling that we get with physical pain that we get with rejection so how do how do we how do we get past this how do we not let our amygdala get hijacked right and it's right here it's right in here. Take stock of the emotions when you are down right here. The amygdala is the automatic response. Your body takes action without conscious input from you. However, that does not mean you will be unable to stop or prevent an amygdala hijack. It just takes conscious effort to deactivate and activate your frontal lobes. Your, your brain's responsible for rational, logical thinking. So what we have to do here is we have to watch out what we're doing with our emotions when we are on the phone. If we want to be more confident, we have to let our logical brain take over. Okay. It takes time. It takes reps. It's not just easy. We, we weren't taught in third grade how to just go and, and call up strangers and ask them if they would consider an offer in their property. We've been told the exact opposite for years and years and years, stranger danger. Don't, don't shake the boat too much. Don't get outcast, right? That's what's going through our brain, but our frontal lobes go, wait a second. Five to 10% of the real estate market 
is in distress at all times. These are people that aren't able to solve the problems that they have with their properties themselves. They need help. It's our job to find them. It's our job to find them. But we have to let our frontal lobes go and take over. We can't let that little teeny part of our brain that is scared and gets anxiety and gets stress and, and, and really just adds all of this you know, toxic mixture of, of, of chemicals and emotions released through our brain and stopping us from achieving what we want to achieve. Because the fact is, without a doubt, 1000% success rate 100%. Let's not let's not get too crazy. 100% success rate. If you have enough quality conversations with distressed property owners, your financial life is set. No doubt about it. No doubt about it, but stop letting that beautiful almond-shaped part of your brain that we all need to hijack your success hijack what you do on a daily basis hijack the actions that you take that's what's happening that's what's happening we get all these thoughts all these emotions going through our brain and it stops us from taking action let the frontal lobes take over the service that we provide to the marketplace is so incredibly valuable put it in your frontal lobe let it sit there let it, it, it's got to take up space in there. It's got to be bouncing around. It's got to be the most dominant force inside your brain that logically speaking, people need your help. Not only from the seller side, but from the cash buyer side, from the investor side. Investors don't want to shut down their amygdala. They want you to shut it down, to find those opportunities so that you can bring it to them. Don't let it hijack you. All right, woo, psychology, baby. If you like that video, hit that subscribe button. We come out with new videos every single day. And if you want your questions answered, like you and I, one-on-one, -on -one, make sure that you join us for the live show every single Wednesday. I will see you there.